Hey, so let's just do a quick little get ready with me. Today I will be unveiling um, a pair. Well, not a pair, but well, yeah, a pair because I'm not going to wear multiple pairs of lashes, but I will be unveiling one of my um, signature lashes today from my Toys Lash Couture Lash Line. But before we get into all of that, let's go ahead and get this face ready to be beat. Figure deal, me be. All right. So, already washed and moisturized and everything. However, I'm going to moisturize again with my little rose aloe water spray which i've already again if y'all pay attention to me i already put like some colloidal silver in this because it's just really good and beneficial for your skin especially if you're gonna do the crap that i do and layer all types of shit on top of your skin let's do it So I hope everybody's doing well. It has been an interesting, interesting time for me lately. I am, of course, as some of you may know, if you're not new here, you know that I am a licensed insurance agent now. If you are new to my channel, I am a licensed insurance agent, multi-state licensed. I, help, I do life, health, as well as variable annuities. And I recently, as of February of 2021, this year, I became contracted with Aflac. So I also sell Aflac products. Now, what I'm using here, I apologize. That was really rude of me. I am going in with my hard candy. Ooh, ooh. pressing on my eyeballs with my hard candy long wear primer this is the sheer mb 12 hour power long wear primer yeah i love this it get a lot of use it's yeah it's mine so we ain't gonna worry about that and just pat 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 let that get tacky 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 uh Let's see what we're going to go in with first. Okay, so the first thing that I will be going in with is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is very old, and I don't even know what shade it's in, but it'll be all right. It's in my shade. That's what shade it's in. My shade. And I learned this trick from Auntie Jackie. Shout out to Jackie Aina. Please go check out her channel. She has millions of subscribers, but I love her. And I learned this technique from her. Putting on a little powder before we actually start doing our, pat, our uh, liquid or cream or whatever foundation you use just because it helps to give a smoother more flawless finish and it helps to last a little bit longer when you are in sunny places such as myself and herself auntie jackie is over there in beautiful california or probably somewhere traveling the world hell she might be in maldives right now i'm trying to be on her and uncle dennis level you feel me but anyways I am in the beautiful sunny state of Florida. So we talking about bipolar weather, like extremely bipolar weather, hot, humid, just won't make up its damn mind. That's what I'm dealing with. That's how I'm living. So after I go in with the initial set on my primer, because it's pretty much like setting your primer. I don't know, but it's an awesome technique I learned from her. I'm also going to show you guys one of many makeup techniques. I'm not the only one who does it. I'm sure there's somebody else who does it. I've not ever seen anyone else do it. But I 
call it dirty makeup so i am literally going in with the maybelline fit me in a shade that when i tell you is entirely too dark this is the 380 absolutely not my color but it is my contour color and y'all know i be shopping in big lots and stuff like that so this bottle was only like three dollars which is why i got it because hell that's cheaper than buying a contour product that's going to be more expensive and on top of it a lot smaller and won't last anywhere near as long and regardless of anything i will be able to use this for a while to come as a contour so that's why i have it not to mention i have my little baby girl my ladybug she just turned 15 and this is actually her shade so if and whenever baby girl is ready to start playing in makeup i got her covered got her covered so yes looks freak-tastic yeah and of course i've already pre-moistened this beauty blender Today, we're about to get a little dirty with the dirty makeup. And it's nearing the end of the month of May. If you're in Florida, if you know anything about Florida, yeah, it's already summer junior. So it is hot outside, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls. So, this will be a very light beat. Seriously, because I don't want to be outside with my makeup and up and off my face. Because that, that's just not a good look. So, now what I am going in with. Oh, yes. And when I say I'm doing product junkie moves today, product junkie moves. But these are my best for when it's really, really hot outside like it is. And I'll also show you guys how to make a matte, be a glowy, dewy matte, without investing 38, 48, 52, 68, even $109 for the so-called glowy matte finish that a lot of these makeup lines are doing now. Shout out props to Mary Kay for that because I also used to be a Mary Kay salesperson once upon a time. Oh, about seven, eight years ago. But okay, so what I'm using, because I also forgot to share that product. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in the 504 Deep Cocoa. Rimmel London got plays, yo. And right now, I don't know who serves up the best mascara it's still up for debate with me because of the simple fact that when i tell you i love me some voluminous mascara by l'oreal mm, yes i do however rimmel london they be serving some ooh with they little mascaras honey so my apologies that was mama cat calling and honey she is red hot mad but hopefully the advice i gave her will help her out so i already put on the rimmel london why the hell am i waving around scissors rimmel london forever matte or stay matte whatever i can't even think right now because what my mom just caught me with really just got me feeling some type of way 
But right now, as I told you guys a little earlier, when I first started, I was gonna show you how to make your mat stay matte, but be that new dewy mat. So what I have here is a little bit of some Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend Shade Adjusting Foundation Plus Primer Auto Adjustable. And I'm also going to go in with this Maybelline BB Beauty Benefit Cream in Deep Dark. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix those two on my hand. Yes, it starts out looking real crazy, but I promise it gets real better real quick. Remember, it's shade adjusting, so yeah, it will start off a little light and crazy and scary. But I promise, ladies and gents, it will adjust. And I'm just going to let that sit there because those be a little problematic areas under them eyes because, you know, your girl turned 38 on Groundhog's Day and, um... Pre-40 was like, oh, let me show you a little bags under your eyes, girl. So, uh-oh, if you can hear my baby through this door. <laughs> She's in the room playing with her toys. And I can hear her. I'm not sure if her voice is coming through on camera. But, yeah. So, let that sit marinate marry and uh we'll come back to it because what i wanted to do is get a little thicker or not thicker but as it dries it becomes a little thicker i don't know how to explain it but once the cream and liquid products sit out and start to dry they get i don't know like i said thicker more viscous i don't know how to explain that shit but yeah Anyways, it's easier to work with when you let it kind of dry out a little bit. All my ladies who use hair gel, especially Gorilla Snot in the jar, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because we open that bad boy up and let it sit open for a couple of days just so it can get that thickness, that tackiness that you like. And yeah, I'm over here just knocking everything thing over so while i'm letting that thicken up so to speak i'm gonna take one drop one small drop of my rimmel london stay matte 504 deep mocha literal one like one little drop and I'm going to go back onto my face with that. And... Okay. Blend. And I actually like to leave some of the extra moisture in the sponge or beauty blender for this process because infusing that into the mat is how you're going to get your dewy mat without having to spend all the coinage on the new 
dewy matte finished products now on the market. So there we go. When I say it's actually wet, I wasn't playing. I really had that wet for that particular reason. So before I continue, what I am now going to do is go back in with the 380 Fit Me. And I'm not even going to use a lot. What I'm going to do, squeeze that out now. Take the bottle and literally just tip it over like that for the dab. Yes, the dab. Dab of product, glob, whatever. And go back in just because I feel like I kind of lost a little too much. Okay, get a fat face, a little bit more shape again. Boom. Yeah, I got issues. Don't mind me. And if you do, sorry, not sorry. All right, so that is that. Now what I'm going to do is hit y'all with an old school Back in the day, a lot of folks aren't very comfortable doing this, but I am going to go in to do my brows now with, yes, a actual brow pencil. The back in the day brow pencil come in two little pencils in the pack from your um, Beast Plasto, Dollar Store. I think these actually did, this actually did come from the dollar store. Two sharp, two little, um, looking from a mirror, you guys. But you get two little pencils in the pack with a cute little, um, sharpener and I can't find my mirror so I guess I shall go in yeah that's completely broke and I use this mirror because I forgot how the little L'Oreal compact actually conveniently has the mirror on the bottom. So, let me go ahead and do the brows in the new school, old school way. So you don't wanna be heavy with this, cause again, this is the old school crayon brow pencil. But I'm sorry. Don't need to fix what ain't broke. So, this is what I'm using. I do like brow powders and gels and pomades. But when I actually do this, I get pretty much the same effect without the impact to my little coins. And of 
popcorn, so do the little brow strokes because you definitely want to do that. And look at there. Not even done yet, just halfway through, and it's always, not always, but already looking really good. And don't be afraid to use your fingers, your hands, ladies and gentlemen, with your makeup application. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's your face. It's only unsanitary if it's somebody else's face. tail action today and again I'm just going nice and light and then kind of heavy darker on the end not even cleaned up yet but I think that really looks good okay so let's go to brow number two so before I get too much into it, like I have a gash in my eyebrow. I got this gash in my eyebrow my fifth grade year in elementary school. I was living with my grandma. God bless your soul, baby. She passed. I lost her last year, October 2020. Oh, Boy, how I miss my sweetheart, but now I have an angel. She's my personal angel, you guys. I'll do a story time about that another time. But, yeah, so I was in the bathroom singing and dancing. Back in the day, we had a little crew that came out. ABC, Another Bad Creation, Bell, Biv, DeVoe, Ronnie, Donnie, Rick, Mike, Chris, Mark, Red, Dave, and Lil Roro. That was the crew. Why do I remember that? Because they said it in a song. Ronnie, Johnny, Rick, and Mike. Chris, Mark, Red, Dave, Mo, Aisha. Okay, yeah, I'm going to stop because I'm telling my age. Yes, a bitch is old. Like I said, 38. Oh. 38 with a 20-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 2-year-old. Explain, explain, explain. I don't even know how to explain, but that's my life. So, again, the crazy life and crew. But, yeah. So, oh, but, yeah. See how good that's coming out already? Like, this one looks better. I went a little darker on this one. But I can fix it because what you don't ever want to do, how a lot of people make mistakes, is when they mess up on one and it's like a little darker or something, they'll go back and try to darken this up and then this end up too dark and then now you're trying and you end up looking like a clown and you just got to wipe it all off and start over here. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to show you a little trick to fix that up. And actually, it's easy, it's simple, because I already said, don't be scared to use your fingers. And that's what we do. When we see one side coming out a little too dark, you can use your fingers to smudge it out some. But the best thing to do, because even though this is not a powder, it's just the old school brow pencil you can absolutely go in with your powder over it take the crayon look mm -hmm. away from it and also lighten it up I can't remember if I learned this from Rico Nasty or Doja Cat, but I was watching them do their little Vogue makeup and one of them was like, oh yeah, I don't like it to look all 
crayon and shine, you know, shiny because then it's straight clockable. So put the powder on over it. Boom, in case you didn't learn that one from me or from one of them, from to me, to you. Yeah. So now much better, right? Yeah. And let me turn my little dirty ass wig band because, of course, I do makeup with it on. So that should get dirty. But it's okay because, again, it only be on my skin. So now that I just did that, oh, yeah, I might as well go ahead and take that powder. Again, this is the... L'Oreal True Match, yeah. Been rocking with it for a while, y'all. I'm just literally go over everything. Because we used a lot of, well, not a lot, but use some liquid and cream powders first. After, well, after priming, we did the light powder, then went into the foundation, then put that little powder back on top of it. Now, we're going to set with the Long Wear Sheer Envy Setting Spray 12-Hour Wear Plus Hydration by Hard Candy. Again, keyword, 12 hours plus hydration. This is how you make your mat be that glowy, dewy mat. Yeah. Then, of course, ain't nothing wrong with it because it's just going to help. It smells so good, y'all. I got issues. Don't mind me. Like Austin Powers' father said, have an issue, here's a tissue. So it's looking kind of light, light, light right now, as opposed, ooh, I did not. As opposed to my chest and the rest of me, but give it time. You know about makeup. Things have to oxidize and set in place. But also, more importantly, the only thing I've done at this point, literally, the only thing I've done at this point. Ooh, I'm going to fix that later. Is foundation, contour, brows. So, boom, boom, boom. So, now what I'm going to take. is my Beauty Benefits Hollywood Pressed Powder. Yeah, I don't even know what color this is. Is that. I'm gonna just go in with my cute little brush blood, uh, blush brush and do a little Powder. In the areas where I know I'm going to shine. And 
with the same brush, I am going to go into my LA Colors BSB 331 Peach Rose Dollar Tree. Bam. I love this. I love it so much. Cause it adds just the right amount of little color where you look like you even kind of got a little flustered out in the sun. One thing I have started doing, you guys, shout out to Miss Darcy, Potato Squad, Potato Gang Boo, yes. I watch you, girl, I love you. She did that little trending crap where you rub the lipstick all over your face and stuff, and she's a brown chocolate girl, such as myself. And I noticed that the little blush across the nose shit, that actually looked cute, so I've been doing that lately. And like I said, that shit look cute. And then another thing I do from Auntie Jackie is take that blush and take that right on across that forehead, that five head, because it gives some of that color up there. Not too intense, but it helps to match your face to the rest of everything else so you have that nice cute flushed but i ain't really tired i look like a cute hobby because that's what it is it's like you look kind of peek it kind of flush in the face kind of sickly but you're not like i don't know it's just some weird trend and yeah i'm hip with it So, powder blush, powder bronzer. Again, I'm so sorry, I can't remember what that um, bronzer shade is. But I do have another that I'm going to be using. This one is the Beauty Benefits. And I'm gonna go in over here with this kind of ashy color it don't look good on camera i don't know if that's because i need to clean the lens or whatever but take that and do a little more shading products go on now setting again Whew. I feel like it go mostly on my damn chest not on my face Yeah, I'm mixing up some stuff. I don't use any of this on anybody else. It's all on me, so it's all good. Because all of this, like, child, my neck and decolette be loving these sprays. Because, baby, that shit be all over the place. All over the place. 
So, got that. Let me do the quick little wash of the hands. Crazy Life and Crew. So, liking this. This is what real makeup looks like because I ain't got on no filters or none of that bullshit. So, yes, textured skin. Now, let me go get my secret weapon that makes it all come together. This Heart Candy Body Gluminizer. <sighs> Just glow with it. Fresh coconut scent. Yes, it is because it has coconut oil. And one of the things I love is it's transfer resistant skin glow. And it's true, it is transfer resistant. Yes, I am taking the moisture on my hands from washing them, pressing it into my face. Mm-hmm. I'm doing that. Yes, I am. And I'm washing my face again. I mean, my hands, not my face down. Now I'm tripping. Okay. Now, let me dry my hands. Then, I'm going to take this, just one pump, rub that, smells amazing, if you like fragrance things in your makeup like how the um what is it like Lancome Clinique oh mainly Giorgio Armani ugh so expensive and it smells like old ladies but yeah if you like perfumed cosmetics but your cosmetics don't have a perfume I use that to finish off because it has a great smell. It's very light, non-greasy, because coconut oil is not greasy. And I can take that. All over. Now. It's giving in real life. Okay, I think it's the lights are too bright because when I back up, it looks a little more natural when I'm close. The low makeup is just picking up all the light and it is just saying, hey boo, I'm sitting here. But in actuality, it's not. But yeah, you can see it. So it's just when I'm too close to the ring light, it's making me look all bright. I'm back here. You can see this is actually all my color. Very nice and natural. Little glow, yet matte. Now, this look is almost complete, but it is not for the simple fact that I told you. I am going to introduce you to my 
lashes today. So let me clean up my little messy mess, mess, mess. That. Let me get this lip pencil and do a little line all after the fact. Definitely should have did this well before I actually just put on some cover, but it is gonna be okay. So, let me It's giving something. I'm not quite sure what it's giving, but it's too late to go back now. I know that much. And let me go ahead and just go back in because. Feel like I want a little more blush. Just a little more. I don't want enough on my brush left over, so. Yeah, and it actually sticks really nicely to that hard candy luminizer. So you can actually put product on top of the heart candy luminizer once you put it on and you go and put something else on and it kind of tones it down. You can actually go right back in and put your makeup on top of the luminizer and it sticks that much better. It's kind of like, I don't know, a glitter. Bronzer, primer, I don't know, but I love it. Okay, she is giving something, but it's giving. So there we go, I think I'm probably going to put a color on these lips. So, Oldie but goodie. Baby lips. Boom. That'll work. Because I wanted to try to enhance the little pink that does naturally occur. And a lot of us melanated folk bottom lip. Don't ask me. I think people who have the cute little pink or are cute when they are dark with that pink bottom lip. Not so much the top, because usually when we're melanated, if you got any pink lips and you have a melanated such as myself, it's usually just the bottom lip that's light and your dark lip, I mean your top lip be dark your dark lip huh okay now i like that that's giving yeah let's get into these lashes of mine <laughs> toys lash couture eyes look familiar just not the color but yeah they look familiar yeah i took a picture of my eyes then drew my eyes and put some butterflies 
based off of some art I saw online. These are my Abby toy. And here is the lash I will wear today. This is the C26, my classic. And I love these cases, you guys. Like, I went all out. It's not cardboard. This is like really cool. It's got like this really nice matte coating on it. Like, if it get wet, it's not gonna lose its shape or anything. And then it's magnetic. But anyways, let's pop these lashes out. Whoa, they really popped out. They popped all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Let me get that, because I've been washing my hands in the sink. I don't want them to um, not stick. As mama done got them wet. Now, these are also mine as well. They're just like what you see online on Facebook, Instagram, the <laughs> eyeliner. That's also lash glue. And why am I doing it that way? Because I'm really gonna fuck something up. And the something that I'm about to fuck up is me. So Trying to be fancy. Let me go ahead and and please, when you're lining, do not stretch. Don't do that because that actually makes things worse. Just put it on. Just put it on. Don't stretch your eyelid. This is a really pretty formula that I have. It is hypoallergenic. Unless you're allergic to tree sap because the binding, the stickiness actually comes from tree sap in my products so they are all natural and my lashes come in traditional mink as well as hypoallergenic silk lash no price point difference they are both the same price whether you do the hypoallergenic silk or mink there are over 20 styles to choose from and yes i'm lining this really good because i want to make sure my dang on lashes stay on my face all day now one thing you can also do is take your adhesive pen and literally paint that on there too. And that light is so bright. If you need more of it to come out, just take it, press it in the cap and it'll get juicy for you. Ooh. I hate that you say juicy. I hate that much. <laughs> Natural beauty beauty. She keep it plump. Okay. That has actually gotten real good and tacky for me. So, just going to take it. Ooh. And put it right on. Now what I like to do, once I put it on, take my nails. If you have nails, it's easy to do with your nails. I can't. For the life of me, even if I don't have on nails, I have to put my lashes on with my hand. I cannot do my lashes with tweezers. It horrifies me. I 
isn't she beautiful? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's toy slash couture. Yeah, I know I got jokes for days. I ain't got no sense. But yeah, so now let's go to my other lash. My other lash, my other eye. Boy. Oh, and there's also a growth formula in this. So this will actually help your lashes grow. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, there, straight off the plastic from the pack. Let me dab that back into the cap. already on my left eye and then just plop it right on into place because it's gonna stick wherever you line your eye so please know how to use eyeliner before doing this otherwise stick to your more traditional adhesives like if I don't use a black adhesive I would much prefer always to use a clear yes clear why because it's clear it's see-through it start off a little iridescent white looking color but it dries completely clear and if I don't want to have the you know eyeliner look and look more natural like I really got Disney princess lashes well you got to be boo-boo the damn fool if you fall for it but yeah when I put that clear on strip lash who hell even with this strip lash who swear you done got you some 6d extensions And I even have them tarantula thick and curly. Like, giving, giving. So, take all that. a little bit but I've been liking the nice little soft messy baby hairs because when I have my natural hair out it's really thick kind of crazy looking and my baby hairs I don't know if it's because I do breakdowns and wigs all the time but my baby hairs they don't lay down and conform they look like this they be kind of straight and just so i like to actually keep that up because i feel it look more natural and this is the finished look oh yes she has inches 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 really cute unit if you guys like my hair let me know because I can start back doing more hair tutorials as well or just hair videos period because I still get hair sent to me and I love this shout out to Ted in Brooksville with the hookup on this unit right here so yes that was today's look, today's hair. 
Hope you enjoy. Again, it's just when I'm in the light, it's all extra bright. Let me show you that this makeup is bomb. Like my lashes? C26. <laughs> so, natural light. Let me, damn, I don't even know how to open my own. Boom. Yes. Rudy Weenie, calm down. Yeah, my boys be tripping. Alright, y'all. Holla at your girl. Until next time.